the Ozei National Park in Japan straddles four prefectures, Fukushima, Tochigi, Guma, and Niigata. I drove six hours from my home in Morioka in September to the Miike Lodge Trailhead in Fukushima to finally visit Ozei and climb the highest peak in North Japan, Mount Hyuchigatake. During the two days that I spent there, it basically rained the entire time. So, before we jump into the hike, I wanted to show what Ozei looks like during good weather. This footage was kindly provided by Mr. Kudo, who owns and operates the Ozei Goya Lodge, where I stayed that night. I am definitely going back again next year, hopefully during better weather conditions. And I really recommend that you consider exploring the Ozei National Park as well. As you can see, it's uh, raining. Um, it's probably gonna be raining a lot of this time, but um, this was the days off I had to do it. And so rain or shine, I'm uh, off on this adventure. It's been a while since I've hiked on a new trail that I've never been on before. So I'm kind of excited for this, despite the uh, rainy weather. The thing about these wooden boardwalks is that they're extraordinarily slippery when wet, like right now. So I can't walk as fast as you would along a normal dirt path. Better than walking through mud soup though. Going up, it's a long, fairly steep ascent. It's been a few days since I've done anything real, so in that pre-second wind period where it's like, I do this for fun? What's my problem? Ah, oh, it's exhausting and wet and slippery. Oh. Nice little alpine marsh here. Look at these little ponds. These little shallow ponds are called Chito. Apparently the word was invented for the Ozei National Park and the prevalence of them all over these alpine marshlands. We have them in Hachimantai as well, where there are about three different varieties of carnivorous plants. Maybe they grow here too. You see how this grassland here is starting to turn golden and almost orangish in the direction of brown? They call that Kusakoyo. Kusa means grass, and koyo is the word in Japanese for the fall colors. Areas like this are mostly conifers, as you can see, but the grass shows us the season, if nothing else. It certainly is beautiful. Are we there yet? Uh, it's uh, been raining constantly and uh, it's, the rain is nice and cool, but I'm soaking wet now, even with the raincoat from sweat on the inside, rain on the outside. It's one of those days where I'm like, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's uh, oof. And 
Can't see a thing from the viewpoint. Oh well, completely in the clouds. What can you do? Actually don't mind the rain now, now that I'm just used to uh, walking in this uh, rainy, muddy landscape. It's uh, at least not hot, could be worse. Mist is beautiful. Wouldn't mind a little bit of a view now and again though. We'll see, clouds could lift. The rain has let up a little bit, but look how muddy this path is. I always think it's kind of like uh, Super Mario or something because you have to jump over the mud. Ah. Try to avoid falling, slipping, getting your feet stuck, or just getting your feet super muddy. Nice looking forest here though, huh? Jose National Park is rather well known for its wooden boardwalk. It's really nice. It makes it much easier to walk, though it is, of course, slippery in the rain, but it's not too bad. Got good hiking boots. Ah, looks like I'm almost to the lake. It's just another four kilometers to the lodge where I'm going to stay tonight. It's a rather full service lodge for something in the middle of the mountains. I've heard they even have beer on tap. We'll see when we get there. Almost reached the lodge where I'm staying tonight. Looks like I've walked uh, around 15 kilometers-ish today. Ah, oh, be nice to sit down. I hear you can even like take a shower there. It's pretty cush as far as these mountain lodges go. Wow, this is like civilization. Really nice looking lodges here. This is really nice. It's like a city. This is the Ose Goya, which is where I am staying tonight. And wow, this is definitely the most full service sort of mountain hut, if you can even call it that, that I've ever stayed at. They've got full meal service. They have beer on tap. They've even got a bath, believe it or not. This place looks like we're in the middle of a small town or something, but we're still in the middle of the national park here. There's no roads that lead to this. So here's a map of the surrounding area in the Ose National Park. What I did today was starting at this Nike Lodge went up here to Hiuchigatake, went over to, this is the main summit, 2,356 meters, then went down around back here, and then all the way to where I am now, right here, the Miharashi area. And this is what the rooms look like. Wow, this is really spacious, but I think normally this would be a room for tons of people, but um, because there's hardly anyone staying on a weekday. I'm getting treated to a gigantic room. Look at this. Oh, well, Shibut's over there, lost in the clouds. And I'm going to get ready and go have a beer right down there. To be honest, I've only been staying in these uh, lodges that are sort of evacuation huts that have nothing at all and are free. These ones where you're, you know, you're paying about $100 for it, I guess less than $100 at the current exchange rate, but it's really nice. It's like staying at a real hotel, except you're up in the middle of the mountains at, uh, I guess, 1,600 meters-ish. This is a pretty fantastic. あ、
外国の方が来ることが少ないのでぜひ一度ここに来てこの雄大の景色だったりゆっくりお食事だったりアルコールを楽しんで遊びに来てもらえたらなと思います。Good morning. I didn't film last night because I didn't want to bother everybody with、uh, the camera and talking to myself and all that. But basically, dinner was wonderful. Apparently, they get a helicopter in once a month bringing everything in. And there's also some people who are called Boka who carry in 80 to 100 kilograms, not pounds, kilograms of stuff over here almost daily. And in fact, Ozei National Park is, I believe, the last place in Japan that still has this sort of traditional porter. Um, as in, people who are doing that as a full time job instead of volunteers sometimes carrying things. At the Ose Koya here, dinner is French style, believe it or not. Breakfast is also fantastic. They have a hot bath with a little shower that you can use at night. It's really full service, and the toilets are well, they're Japanese toilets. They're actually full on shower toilets or with the washlets, as they call them. This is like staying at a hotel, pretty much, except that we're At the very closest, a three hour hike from the nearest parking lot to where cars have access. So I really recommend the Ose Koya here. It's fantastic. Of course, it's one of six lodges here, and I'm sure the other ones are fantastic as well. And I spent a long time last night talking with the owner, Kuro san and Endo san, both who are really interesting people. Come meet them yourself here at the Ose Lodge. So off into the rain I go again. Time to walk the 10 kilometers ish in a relatively easy route back to civilization. This part of the trail on the way back is called the Ura Huchi Trail, and there's not much ascent or descent really, but it's pretty slippery, anyways, given that it's Raining, but it's a beautiful trail if a bit muddy. At least it's not hot, it's about、uh, 14 degrees Celsius right now, which is、uh, pleasant though. I still feel pretty warm with my、uh, rain jacket on. Clear days are nice, but this mist also looks somewhat magical. Ah, well, I'm back to the parking lot. It took about three hours to get back from the lodge area, the Ose Lodge area, to the parking lot at Miike Lodge. And it was uh, beautiful, um, peaceful, not too much up and down, just.、Uh, Mostly level, more or less, and on those wooden boardwalks, which were very slippery given the wet weather. But、uh, still, beautiful walk in the mist. I've got to come back here when the weather is much better. Still, it was a great time. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the trails.